Okay, this is gonna be a tidbits video. I'm at a Red Roof Inn, not far from the SeaTac Airport. Uh, this uh, hotel's gonna cost a little bit more than the Motel 6s from the past couple days. Has a little better amenities, a little better rating. Um, Red Roof Inn, like I said, there's gonna be some random clips here. Uh, bringing my stuff in right there. Tomorrow, $6,000 clears, and I'll be able to look for a place. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, guys, this is the neighborhood of one of the rentals. Um, there's a room for rent in this neighborhood for $500 a month. It's a $100 deposit. I like the neighborhood. Um, I didn't go buy the exact place for rent because on the map <laughs> it showed as the intersection I went through the intersection but I don't know exactly which one of the places it was this is the Auburn Kent uh, area you know near Seattle and I like it I, I, I do like it here and like I said, I, I, I need to get a so-called permanent address that's not a hotel, okay? Because already I couldn't get a rental car when I sold the other car because I didn't have a permanent address. Um, it was a factor in getting a job the day after Thanksgiving. Um, and trying to get insurance for this van right here you know I'm trying to get insurance for this van it was an issue <laughs> so uh, the sooner I get a permanent address the more I could feel normal out here now here's a problem um, it's Monday now I'm gonna try to find a place and might maybe watch a little football it's gonna be the Giants and the Eagles it's a big game actually if the Giants win, the Cowboys are still alone in first place. <laughs> and that's a side issue. I'm not going to go into that. Uh, but there were some places that were Airbnb. Some little bungalows. And I figured before I start working, why not check out one of those bungalows near the lake? They, they, they have them like for $90 a night for good ones. You know? But I like this neighborhood. And... I'm trying to get a job where I'm working six days a week, 12 hours a day, but that's down in Lacey, which is near the hotel where I was at. It's close enough to the hotel. Um, so we'll see how it goes. This, this, this is a little further away, but there's a lot of work out here for like 18 bucks an hour. Okay, I'm going to head up towards Seattle. I might go north of Seattle today. I haven't actually been in the city of Seattle in a couple of weeks I've been here. So, uh, I might wind up at Marysville. That's a little north of Seattle, and we'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Okay, okay freeway entrance. All right. Okay, guys. Okay, Let's see how this goes. Red roof in. All right, all they had was two queens. That's how I started off here in the Seattle area down at Chehalis. I'm on the third floor. I think it looks good. <sighs> Always take a good whiff because sometimes they don't smell good, but it doesn't smell so bad. And uh, let me get my stuff. Let me get my stuff. Got an iron, uh, the microwave. Um, we'll check the rest later. All right. All right. I'll put that on my dash right now.
I like it. Ha ha ha. Oh, over there when I came in, I said there's a microwave, it's a safe. There is no microwave here. That's okay. Okay, there's been some good games uh, today. There was good college games yesterday. The Niners against the Saints. That had to do with the number one seed in the NFC. And it was a last minute field goal that the Niners won. And before that, or at the same time actually, the Ravens game also had the same thing going on. We're between them and the Bills. You know, whoever won that, hey man, they're, they're on the inside track. I'm going to go outside. I gotta get my iPad from my van. It's almost halftime, and here we are. KC versus New England. Well, you know, this time of year, you have uh, implications, but you see 127 left in the second. I'm gonna talk about something real quick. So I have this infection. I hardly wear this white long sleeve anymore. But it's getting better. It doesn't look good. It's getting better. And I hate to do this. I really hate to do this. But this is for posterity. On my back, I still have a couple of sores. So I get, you know, when I sleep, a little bleeding at night. So I just want to forget this period, you know, I still put on the sulfur and, you know, some of the other medicine. I'm going to go outside and get my iPad. Alright, I haven't been drinking all, you know very heavy today uh i've been developing plans you gotta have plans you know with jobs and places you're gonna stay you know you have your plan a plan b plan c that i've been talking about and the reason i'm getting my ipad is i'm gonna put some of the stuff on that it's just bigger than the iphone it's easier to deal with and what I've come to think I should do, I've been up here in the Seattle area for, you know, a couple of weeks. It's been two weeks to the day that I took off from California, and it took me a few days to get here. So let's say a week and a half. And there's my new van right there. Um, so I figure this place, this place is more expensive than the other place, but the other place is further away from Seattle. Worst case scenario, my, my base, my absolute base is I like Motel 6. And I could stay here three days and go there four days to the place in Chehalis where I was at. And doing the math, that comes out to be about 315 a week. Multiply 315 by 4. And you're looking at uh, an apartment equivalent of $1,260. Okay? But I'm trying to actually rent an apartment. You know, maybe around eight, eight fifty, dollars somewhere in that range. So we make do with, you know, the, what, what we have. Um, but I'm going to get my iPad and I've already started looking for rooms for rent and so on, but you got to have your fallback, you know, um, I'm going to get a secured credit card. I've got to do that. And I feel good. I feel very good that if everything goes well, if everything goes pretty well, I'll be a happy person, man. I like it up here. Writing. Ok, 
Okay, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas, right? Okay then. <laughs> 